Kayla Barrage, a postal worker in Newmarket, New Hampshire, recently found herself in an unusual situation during her daily routine. Every day, she walks a nine mile route, making sure everyone receives their mail. She does this whether it's raining, snowing, or the sun is shining. But today was no ordinary day. As she was making her usual rounds, Kayla noticed something that set her instincts on high alert. The mailbox at one home on her route was unusually full, which seemed odd. The woman who lived there, someone Kayla knew to be very consistent, hadn't collected her mail in three days. With over four years of experience at the United States Postal Service, she instantly knew something wasn't right. Most people might ignore this kind of detail, dismissing it as a coincidence, but not Kayla. She trusted her instincts and decided to take action. She was delivering mail in very cold weather, which made her even more curious about what was truly going on. On my route in the morning that I drop my mail off, I have a relay route. I'll go back to the post office and I'll come back and I'll walk out of the office. And that morning when I was at the relay box, which is really close to the customer's house, I could tell, I was like, I'm gonna take this time to just see if the mail's been picked up because it's first thing in the morning. And if it's not, I'm making the call. Kayla took her concern straight to her postmaster, the person overseeing all operations at the post office. Before long, the New Market Police Department was brought in to investigate the situation. The police officer sprang into action. Lieutenant Wayne Stevens, along with officers Wedgworth and McLaughlin, quickly responded to the call. Officer Wedgworth was the first to arrive at the house, and as he knocked on the door, he faintly heard someone inside calling for help. Officer McLaughlin got in, opened the door, we walked in, we could actually see the, the lady laying on the ground, still yelling for help. The door was locked and time was running out. Luckily, Officer McLaughlin had been to the residence a month earlier when an elderly woman had accidentally locked herself out of her house. They found the woman lying on the floor, surrounded by art supplies that had fallen on her. She was conscious, but in extreme distress, struggling from the injuries she had sustained and the effects of being unable to move for days. Temperatures had dropped considerably, and the woman, in addition to being dehydrated, was also suffering from hypothermia. Though her home was sealed, the lack of sufficient heating combined with her immobility had put her at even greater risk. Paramedics soon arrived, and the officers took care not to move her until they were sure it was safe. Lieutenant Stevens noted how important it was that Kayla trusted her instincts. He explained that while the police received many welfare check calls, very few end up being as urgent and critical as this one. Stevens said, we always encourage people, if you see something, say something. He also said, we'd rather go and find out it's nothing than miss something serious. For Kayla, her actions that day were just part of her duty as someone who truly cares about her community. She spoke humbly about her role in saving the woman's life, emphasizing how important it was that everybody acted quickly. On Saturday when I was delivering through the blizzard, I had a few customers knock on the window with a thumbs up and open their windows and say, you're so dedicated and... She said one of them even baked her whoopie pies. She smiled as she talked about her community clearly touched by the warmth and kindness that had been shown to her. Newmarket is so nice. I've always felt this way. Like when I first applied for the job, I was like, I want Newmarket. I got it and I feel like I have the best route and all the people on it. It's like, yeah, I love it. Reflecting on everything, she said, the past few years have been so crazy. There's so much that postal workers go through on a daily basis. Sometimes they face very dangerous and even deadly situations. For example, Octavia Redman, a 48-year-old postal worker, was shot while delivering mail on Chicago's far south side. Tragically, she lost her life soon after as a result of her injuries. Authorities eventually arrested a teen in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and brought him back to Chicago. The teen had tracked Octavia's delivery route and used a stolen car to carry out the attack. 
It was all captured on home surveillance camera. Octavia had been delivering mail for five years, and her passing highlights the severe risk that some workers face while serving their communities. While stories like Octavia's remind us of the dangers that postal workers can face, there's also moments that highlight their extraordinary courage and dedication to their communities. One such story is that of Jim Brophy, a disabled Vietnam veteran who calls his postal carrier his guardian angel. One morning, Jim was installing lights outside his home in Pennsylvania when he fell down several concrete steps. He landed in the middle of the street, unable to move or even call for help. He found himself stranded. That's when his mail carrier, Eric, appeared. Eric was on his regular route when he saw Jim lying there. Without hesitation, he parked his mail truck in the middle of the road to block traffic. He pulled Jim out of the road and made sure he was safe. Another hero is Kashif Hakim. He's a mailman in New York, and he went from delivering letters to saving lives. Last month, while on his route, Hakim noticed smoke pouring from an apartment building. Without a second thought, he ran inside to warn everyone. With his father being a police officer and his mother a nurse, Hakim said it felt natural to take action. He had only been a postal worker for seven months, but faced a situation many experienced carriers never do, an act of fire. When he saw a woman struggling to save her pets, he knew things were serious. He quickly knocked on the doors of 12 apartments to alert the residents to evacuate. As I'm coming back around, one guy's like, hey, yo, is that you knocking on my door? I'm like, yeah. He was like, man, I appreciate it, brother. I was in there asleep, man. You might have saved my life. Although he received praise, Hakeem remains humble, saying he did it simply because it's the right thing to do. He said, I'd hate to hear that something happened while I was standing right there. I just did what I could. And that brings us back to Kayla Barrage, New Market's new hero. It's not every day that someone's routine workday turns into a rescue mission. But Kayla's keen instincts and caring heart made that possible. It's true, not all heroes wear capes. Some of them carry mail bags, deliver letters, and notice when something just doesn't feel right. Kayla Barrage's story is a reminder to all of us of the power we have to make a difference in the lives of those around us. It's about being connected, looking out for each other, and understanding that what seems like a small concern can turn out to be the most important thing in the world. I'm just waiting for her to come back and yeah, give her the space she needs. Like, I'm happy she's okay and well. And yeah, I just am respecting the space right now. It's, it's a lot, it's a lot going on. So it's better safe than sorry. And in this case, it was better safe than sorry.